What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you the next installment for Dominion Floors for Brave Cross. This time we'll be going over 240 to 250 floor, and let's get on with it. So the next one basically is the 240, is basically just don't have two hero deaths, so... It is a very easy floor to take down because of, again, this is pretty much similar to the ones before where you have pretty much like three Archer DPS, a normal Noir, and a Faded Masquerade. Um, just bring your strongest DPS and you should have no problem. A good tank is also um, recommended and you shouldn't really have any problems with this floor now let's get on to 245 245 basically is a rebels only hero again and like i said before in the past video i believe there was a rebels only there it, it this is pretty much just taking you know your best and strongest uh, rebels uh, DPS because the main DPS you'll be having is pretty much going to be Luna. Um, of course, if you have a strong dragoon or a strong Marcus, then it's definitely recommended. Having faded red mask doesn't necessarily is. Sorry, it's not necessary in this fight. However, um, it is also welcome because of his rage reducing ability. However, like I said, Faded Luna is probably the best DPS you're going to get in the Rebel Army. And having Cure Knight as well it will let you silence and slow your enemies. So it is a good um, I guess a good hero to have so I would recommend definitely having Luna Care Knight for those silences and of course for those slows at times Marcus is good as well because his DPS is quite decent and Faded Dragoon obviously is another good hero and of course there's lots more this Fight wouldn't really necessarily cause you too much trouble. Soul Grip might give you a bit of a headache. However, um, this shouldn't be any problems. My, I, I believe my Carry Knight and my Marcus aren't that great in the, uh, you know, in general. But I still managed to beat the floor. I did have two heroes die, but you know. Uh, in the end, basically, my Fate Red Moss was pretty good in taking down the enemy. And, of course, Fate Luna is good for those interrupts as well. So, if you guys have any problem, just leave a comment below and maybe we can talk it out. As you guys can see, Marcus actually did the best DPS even though he died. But, um, Fate Luna is definitely a plus. Now, let's go through the last floor in Dominion floor at the time of this recording. So um, basically here you can't have any hero's death and you'll be fighting against Faded Dragoon, Marcus, Faded Luna, Starcaller, and Kitsune. So basically bring your strongest team in this fight and you shouldn't have any problems. Now if you are rocking a Sohi, I would recommend um, Probably getting another healer that can burst heal uh, an Arya maybe because of strike back. Now, if you know, if so, he gets hit by that, it, it hurts a lot, especially if you hit Dragoon. So, um, having a good healer um, is recommended if you are using Sohi, especially during her awakening. Probably is a good thing to time your awakening. If with Faded Luna or with Arya at the same time. Now, if you do have Frostbow, I think Frostbow is probably the better choice between the two because you're able to hit the front and the back. Now, you don't have any problems with Star Caller because Star Caller actually doesn't have 
anything to do with you and if you do have frostbow star color might cause you more problems than um good so i need as you guys can see that trigram can be very very annoying and of course he regains the rage pretty quickly near my shantis nearly died but um fortunately that didn't happen and I can get some burst heals with Faded Luna. Now the main important hero here is I think Faded Luna and Shantis because of their interrupt ability and of course their snaring ability. Um, once you take down uh, Dragoon and Marcus though, uh, Starcaller will obviously die and that will be the least of your problems. And that's it guys. I hope these guides sort of help you. Uh, remember to click like and subscribe and share this video if you find it helpful at all. As always, I would like to hear from you guys. What sort of teams did you bring during 240 to 250 floors for Dominion? This is Munchkins logging off and I'll see you guys in the next level.